Hi there. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nikki, and welcome to my very first playthrough of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. I have been hearing very good things about this game for quite a while, but decided to finally check it out for myself now that Hellblade 2 is about to come out. I will actually be doing a playthrough of Hellblade 2 as well, so if you'd like to see that, definitely make sure to like this video and subscribe to stay tuned. So without further ado, let's get into it. I am very excited. I do know this game has a few trigger warnings to be mindful of, so definitely keep that in mind. I believe it shows up with a little warning. Yeah, here we go. Right off the bat, the menu looks very, very cool. Um, I'm hoping my webcam is in a good placement not to block anything, um, but I can always move it if I need to. The um, like sound effects I'm hearing are already pretty wild. I guess let's get right into it and start a new game. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, this is already pretty. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. All the whispering Please in my ear. So I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. Yeah. It's breathing. You know she's getting closer. You can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. Can you see them? Over there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why aren't you looking? There's a body there. Look. Up ahead. You see it too. You promised you can use yes. it. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. That is eerie. The place the Northmen call hell. Hell, okay. So, I guess we're in hell? Go back. Go back, go back, go back. It's not safe. It's there. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a sudden inkling that maybe it's not safe here. <laughs> um, maybe that's just me, I don't know. I would say this is beautiful, but <laughs> there are bodies everywhere, so I, don't, I might take that back. They're going to do that to you. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're going to do that to you. It's like it knows that just enough light. I feel like there's more bodies the it's further we go. To see its suffocating power. Not the most inviting. I will say though, the graphics of the water itself are amazing. Melina Jurgens. Senua. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Well, she's not on her own. She's got bravery me. <laughs> something to those afraid of death. I don't know how much that counts for, but it's a little bit, at least. Senua's fear runs far. Oh, we're getting to the end of the river here. Don't know whether to be happy or scared about that. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. Oh, that's so cool that she looks at the camera. There's no going back. To, like, acknowledge the voices. That is awesome. 
she pushes the boat yes. back. And then pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Oh! Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from a... Do oh. not forget oh. my story, I started Senua. it over. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. Okay. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. So we're going to Helheim? It's like quite the journey we're about to go on. And we'll find a bridge covered in gold. Oh, maybe we should have kept that boat, Senua. Oh my gosh. I don't know where to look. Oh, they're telling me to run? I don't know how to run. Okay, maybe it's okay. The visual appeal of this game is already amazing to me. Can I look behind me? Okay, I almost felt like I shouldn't for a second. Oh, I, I can kind of use this button to look closer at things. Not this time. And just like that, the storm is over. The land of mist and fog. The old fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. Yeah, what is it that she's been holding? It almost looks like a, a skull. Is it moving? I hear you. So he's there, you know. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved. Dillian. Dillian, okay. She might just have like a skull on her belt. I guess we'll have to see. That's kind of creepy. This area is beautiful. He's already dead. I don't think I'm able to run in this game. His soul still lives. Which is fine by me. Let's take the slow scenic route, right? Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Midgard. Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. Lots of heims. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. There we go. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. Oh, my. Well, I wonder if that means Senua is dead. I'm assuming we'll find out. 
Or maybe we're trying to get to Helheim. Ooh. Are you scared? You should be scared. Get down. <laughs> What's she waiting for? Where you are. The voices are Where starting are to she laugh at me. She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. The hidden path. I feel like something is gonna happen. Oh, okay. There's the gate. This looks inviting. He's going to hurt you. It's dangerous. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I must let the bastards catch me again. Never. Wait. Whose voice that is? Who are? Truth? Set you out to you now. For my tales of the Northmen, they call me Truth. Truth. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> truth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. Guide you in this life and the next. My stories of hell, if I may walk with you. Damn, his eyes were like again, old friend. so Unless... wide. Truth is his truth. Seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Okay. Look really clearly. Focus in. Oh, do I have to like find one like it to line it up? It. Now I see it. It's near. There we go. Towards the gate. And the gate will open. So you have to match the symbol. So can I open it? Yeah, now I can open it. Okay, that's cool. That took me so long to figure out. <laughs> okay. Open the gate. The gate is open. Go gate through the gate. Is Go open. through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind? It worked. It's insane. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. Ruth Together, was enslaved in hell. The Northmen feel our fury. Oh god, this looks precarious. Oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> Another voice joins Oh no. Us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. Damn. Poor Senua. Imagine how, like, overwhelming it would be to be hearing all these voices. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim, and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. Hela can resurrect Hela, the dead. Hela, Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Okay, so maybe what she wants is to resurrect Dillion. Dillion? I think I said Dylan. I don't think it's Dylan. Gate. Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to 
Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. here that music though She's talking about Dillian. Thank you. Let him go. I'll give you what you want. I won't resist anymore. Just give him back. <laughs> Damn, that camera perspective is so eerie. an enemy oh okay okay hold on a little bit of frames there um let's turn this down a little bit more what if i turn it all to medium oh shit okay okay i can parry but how do i attack Oh no! Oh no! I think I'm gonna die! Okay. I got a few carries in. Look at that! Okay. Okay. I'm getting the hang of it. The parry timing feels very satisfying. Okay. Oh, there's more. Good thing I played Sekiro. <laughs> Alright, I do love some parrying. Oh my god. Okay, that one kind of scared me. Interesting that I don't exactly have a health bar. I wonder if I can kind of dodge. Oh, okay. I couldn't hit them in the end there. Did I die? Maybe this was scripted. face is rotting now oh my gosh a vision of what's to come oh my god a vision of what's to come oh, Senua. the darkness does not bargain it does not reason it is rot, and now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> but her arm is still rotten. 
in that version of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. So maybe it's like gonna spread. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. Oh no. Oh gosh. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. And all progress will be lost. Oh my gosh. I wonder how hard that is for it to happen. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. My cat is jumping off. Of control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. Okay. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. So maybe those are kind of like our bosses here? Also, I have to feed my cat. Hold on. So maybe we pick which one to go through first. Let's do this one. I don't know why the red is calling my name. Valraven. Valraven. Master of the Seers and Master of Ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Oh, damn. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Oh, we didn't even have to open the gate. It just opened itself. That's kind of cool. I wonder how easy it's going to be to miss certain things in this game. There's definitely a chance um, I might not find every little thing as it is my first playthrough. See whatever this is. I don't know if it's oh yeah, it's something I can interact with. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous while others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of Don't the Don't want to walk away too far. The old father. I do really like that you can hear the lore from those things as you continue walking. And when you start to get a little bit out of range, it gets kind of quieter, so you can tell to stop walking. hides the path to Balraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Find another way to see the truth? Okay, so maybe we do have to keep going down this way. I can, I can now see how this game has a little bit of a photosensitivity warning as well with the effects that are happening around the screen. What's that? It's oh, it's a bridge. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Push it. I'm pushing, voices. Be patient. Senua's hair is so cool to me, too. Her entire design, actually, is just really awesome, really badass. 
this? I don't know why I thought something bad would happen when I walked through it. Oh! The gate opened! Maybe that's what happened when I walked through it. And I can just jump down here. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Okay, I just got another save. Another little autosave. That always means something good is about to happen, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's getting more gray and dark. And stormy. Can I open this? I'm getting a, a fight vibe. Like we're gonna fight something here. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because Maybe not. The There's another gate over there, though. What's this? All that lurks within it. I can see you too. They're just more dead bodies. And more dead bodies. Okay. Lovely. You can actually hear Senua starting to get more and more, like, frightened in the way she's breathing. Oh, oh, I had a feeling we were going to fight something here because of how it was kind of open. That's how I obeyed. Okay. Let's try a heavy attack. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice, that parrying is very satisfying when you get it down. Oh, there's another one. Seems pretty forgiving as well. They surrounded you. Yes. Okay, maybe not there. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe that one was just me. Oh, okay. I'm trying to focus really hard because I don't want our rock to spread. stagger them a bit and so far we're only fighting one enemy at a time which is nice the northman will not stop her she will find what she's looking for the northman will not stop her so i wonder if that's what we could call the enemies we've been fighting the northmen but maybe like maybe like they're dead though that's why they don't look very normal Oh, okay. We've reached the door, it seems. But it's locked, so we're gonna have to match it up, I think. Yep. Valraven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Yeah, I ravens saw these things hanging magic. in the sky. Show me what you have seen, Drew. I can already tell I'm going to be kind of bad with lining these, <laughs> these things up. Maybe I have to get closer. Yep, there we go. Almost? 
There it is. Okay, sweet. Now the gate is unlocked. Something's shifted. Something's happened. Something's happened. This thing is glowing. I don't know if that has any significance. Okay, let's walk through it <laughs> just for some kind of good measure. I don't know. And let's open the gate. Do you feel it too? Oh, the it's wind. Like crossing into another world that looks the same, but feels different. I always love a good wind effect in a game. I almost feel like I have to get up there, you know what I mean? Go through this thing. Yeah, I think that's intentional, how all the, um, torches, like, it's one torch, but then as you get closer to it, it turns into, like, multiple. Oh, I can actually go around this way, too. Challenge me. Oh, okay. I guess he's in here. I thought, for some reason, I assumed he would be through the next gate. I almost wasn't ready. Oh, he's gone? I, I was about to square up. That is pretty eerie. So far, this game seems fairly linear, which is good for me as someone who's really bad with navigation, usually. Yeah, this definitely seems like the way to go. It's getting louder, for sure. We're probably supposed to go over the bridge. Yep, there he is. I wonder if he's gonna disappear again. I knew it! I saw that tree! I knew he was gonna disappear. I knew it! Is she lost? Wouldn't be the first time. Last winter, before the tragedy, she journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off of berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. She was because lost before. That door, Thanks I think. Make it back. I'll forever change. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Okay, there we go. Wait, can I unlock this from this side now? I can. Interesting. Okay. And I can unlock this one, too. I wonder if this is the gate we probably saw a few minutes ago. Okay. Let's go up the ladder. I wonder if he's gonna disappear again. I feel like he's going to. Sounds quieter. Yep, okay. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She I can, can get up now? It must be magic. Dog magic. A trick. Well, Raven. Tricking her. Raven. How can she get up? Bait. 
It's him. Dark magic. I think it wants me to go back to the um It's not he's helping her. It's not staircase over there. And then maybe I can line up the ravens. It's magic. It's a Try going back through here. Man, I'm happy I figured out how to run. <laughs> I was under the impression I couldn't run the whole time. And then we can line this up. There we go. And the gate is unlocked, and I'm assuming we're gonna fight him behind that gate. I'm kind of nervous. Excited though. I just, I'm nervous because I don't want our rot to spread. If it spreads to our head, I guess it's just game over, man. You lose all your progress. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I wonder if it would actually like start you completely over. We picture fear and we think of a shadow in the woods. Creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. Deep and primal signal. Oh, I can't open this one. This looks like it could be a battle arena. Unless I'm just getting overly excited. <laughs> nope. Okay. Keep going through here. This looks like it could be a battle arena. <laughs> okay. Yep. I think. Oh, look at these effects. Yep. Okay. He's gone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir. I like being cheered on. Thank you, guys. That is no, awesome. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button to parry. Like pressing Sekiro parry. Okay, so now we're fighting two at once. Oh no, I'm scared of him Oh god. Oh no, did I die? Oh no. Oh no. She's hurt, Miss Blood. I think I died. <laughs> oh god! I wonder where it's gonna start me back from. Oh, just right here. Okay. Wait. Okay. Take him down! Oh my god, that was fast. Okay, I lived. Okay. I wonder if my health kind of resets between every encounter. Because like I was saying earlier, it's interesting to me that I don't have- I don't have a health bar, and I also don't have a, um, stamina bar either. I kind of like how it's simple in that sense. I wonder- yeah, it seems like I can interact with this. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Eyebrows as walls? Oh yeah. 
I do love all the um, lore that Druth gives you as you kind of progress on. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Damn. Even the voices are kind of giving us some lore to think about here. There's a lot of like Norse mythology too, which is kind of interesting for me because I know like a little bit about Norse mythology, but not a lot. So it's cool to hear. Okay, we have another gate up here and a way that we can go down there. Let's go up to the gate first. Oh my gosh. There are ravens everywhere. Oh no. The song. Okay. Um follow the song. Thank you, voices. They're trying to confuse me now. Oh man. It's really cool to me how the voices almost are trying to portray... Well, obviously, they're trying to portray to the player what Senua is feeling by, like, confusing you as you're playing the game. They're also kind of helping me at points, too, though. She wanted to marry Dillian. She wanted she to marry Dillian. She thought her curse. Of course, her I think we learned that Dillian died. She I wonder bring the darkness if she is too. trying to resurrect him. Then she nearly died. She thought the curse by like finding Hella. Druth helped her. Oh, here's the other side of that bridge I was looking at. I think I might know where I have to go. Maybe. Try going down here. No, I can't go down there. Okay, never mind. I thought I could. Okay, I'm getting a little bit lost in the sauce. Maybe I should try following these things. Nope, that's another dead end. Well, a lot of these are twisting anyway. Probably means that's not the ones I'm supposed to use. I feel like I'm just going in circles at this point. There's probably something that I'm missing. Oh, this. Okay, yeah. Speaking of something I'm probably missing. Okay, I didn't notice that. I did not notice that. I'm like trying to like get in that way. Okay, let's unlock this gate from this side though. I see another um, pillar we can interact with back here. Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learned them. Then he fell from the tree. Yeah. I went back to here to see if I could jump over this now. Now. 
sometimes in this game when you interact with stuff, um, like different bridges open up and things like that, but I'm still not exactly sure where to go. Oh, there's a pillar here. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own eye. Oh my gosh, Odin. To Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. At least we found that lore by walking around not knowing where I'm going. <laughs> I could have missed that. Okay, I think I found out what I was confused about. I was looking at a walkthrough and I think I need to be walking through the portals more. I think they're actually supposed to kind of be hints for where I'm supposed to go. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find one of them. I wasn't sure if these actually had an effect on the world, but it seems like they do. So maybe, maybe that did something? Okay, I think, yeah, okay, this is what I missed. <laughs> okay, of course it's always something. I just missed the little thing and I get lost for so long. Oh man. Okay, so, yeah, I didn't realize I could go down this way. Okay, my bad. There we go, now we're on this side of the bridge. That took me so long to figure out. <laughs> I had to watch a walkthrough. I was so lost. Okay, now we can push down this bridge. And then, yep, there's a staircase over here. Up a ladder. Oh, and here's another portal. The ravens. The ravens. They've gone. They've gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. No. Oh, ravens. Okay. Maybe I need to walk through this one. Oh, there we go. The ravens. They will go. No. There's still three. There's still three. Okay. Where are they going? Gone. She did it. Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. Okay, there Maybe we go. So now, it's a little more self-explanatory. We just have to line up the last three. Hustling never is my power. strong suit, is it? <laughs> That's okay. We got it in the end with a little help from a walkthrough, I'll be honest. We gotta back up a little bit. I think that's almost it, but not quite. Oh! Wait, I almost see it. There we go, perfect, okay. Nice. Now we can open the gates. I'm the so gate happy we got through this section. <laughs> I was so confused for like 30 minutes. I know it's going to be cut out in the video, but I was getting a little discouraged. Okay, maybe it's time for the boss fight now? Maybe he's behind here? Oh, look, there he is. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what to expect. I don't want to die too many times. Oh, he disappeared again. This looks like a boss arena to me, though. 
Or maybe he'll be uh, past the next gate. Okay, another symbol to line up. Overcome his final illusion. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Hopefully this illusion isn't as hard for me as the last one was. Okay, perfect. So I need Speak to, to remember that the portals Don't actually stop. change things in the environment. So, uh, listen, I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. Finden. The Northmen captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, oh, now I can his go father's up here. enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave oh, masters landed here. on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Ruth was born. Ruth was born! Yes. The man that I am now. So Druth, his name used to be Finden. Finden never set eyes on his dear sister again. Oh man. I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Okay, so. Maybe I have to go back through one of the portals and then that branch won't be blocked off anymore on the other side. How did I get there though in the first place? I am kind of confused. Maybe things change every time I go through the portal. So maybe I accidentally went through it twice. Still trying to find out how these portals work in this game. Because it's kind of throwing me for a loop. Maybe. Okay, the tree is blocked off right now. So let's try going through this again and seeing if that changes anything. I think it did. I think it did. I think the branches are gone now, so yeah, now we can go up here? Yes, okay. I was looking at this branch earlier thinking it looks like something we would be able to climb up. Oh gosh, hold on Senua. Be careful. There we go, now I bet, yep. We can line it up right here, perfect, okay. Rook, the gate is open. open. I know it from the wilds. Is he right behind me? Oh gosh, she's right behind me. Oh my god. That was kind of awesome. <laughs> I remember. It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. 
You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, Luca, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom. She's trying to comfort me from the scary vibes. Fear. Deeper, deeper, dragging you it's down everything. so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. There, in the darkness. Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to... You will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. Yeah, she's Focus. like pecking at her. Focus. I see. I see you now. Oh, here we go, you guys. You me to the wilds. You trapped me there. Oh my gosh. Hey, Drew helped us. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, Perry. back at him. That is the coolest thing ever. I can do a running attack. Oh, what happened? That was kind of a cool change there. Yes. Kind of worried. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Because I keep mixing up my evade with my heavy attack. Oh damn it. Focus right now. Focus. The mirror. The mirror. Focus. Just start over. Damn it. Ah, oh, that was such a good attempt. Focus. 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 Focus.
Focus. It was an illusion. <sighs> but not this time. Let's fucking go, Senua. I feel like a badass. I had to focus so hard for that. That was harder than I was expecting. The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. We're coming, Dillian. I still hear you. I'm so happy we did it. That was a really cool fight. It's like been hard for me to get used to the aspect of not seeing my own health bar or like getting used to how my health regenerates in fight because it kind of seems like my health regenerates after not getting hit for a couple of seconds or like doing a few parries or taking down a different enemy or like within different phases of the fight. It's taking some getting used to for sure, but we did it and I love the feel of the combat in this game too. Oh, it's more sunny now, too. There are like birds in the sky. This game is really pretty. I'm curious to see what the next path holds for us. Hopefully I won't get us stuck on the puzzles. <laughs> that kind of threw me for a loop a little bit, but we did it in the end. Mother. Oh. Senua, you have the sight, just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was that wild. Was Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. Oh, okay, so that's the main gate we're trying to open. Oh my gosh, okay. That kind of scared me. Oh, this dude has like a mate. He's a little bigger. Oh, okay, harder to stagger. Okay, <laughs> you guys see how he fell? <laughs> Why is that kind of fun? Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah! 
Oh, fuck yeah. I think the taunt they do is kind of cool. Oh, okay. I love parrying in this game. It is so satisfying. Oh, oh gosh. There it is. Okay, we gotta back up a little bit. That was a close one. was very helpful for me. Okay. Oh, he's got a shield. Okay, shield bash. Oh, nice. I can kick that. Go ham. Oh, oh, oh. go there we go sweet i was a little worried there for a second to make matters worse my cat had the major zoomies during that <laughs> oh my god she was running around oh look at that hand that is gnarly looking sort fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Oh, great. Let's go. Fire enemy. Find him, Senua. Let's okay. His blood. There we go. My God. Who spoke of his own darkness? Each the Northmen. Gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. There is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. So it seems like her mother was similar to her. Maybe she also had some sort of psychosis like Senua does. Or maybe Senua has some kind of other sight that we don't really know about yet. I think that's what she means though. That her her mother was also dealing with certain things like the voices and the way she sees things. It's getting stormy again, guys. I wonder if the environment will change again after we take down this boss. Oh, maybe it's not actually stormy, but supposed to be, like, ashy. Yeah, as if we're in, like, a wildfire. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sometimes enemies come in super fast. He's down. Nice, nice. They've surrounded me. There we go. Perfect. Oh god! Okay, two of them. A little more scared of this guy with the mace. Okay, we got that one. Nice. I feel like I'm really starting to get the hang of this. It's nearly over. Finish. Watch out. Sight out. He's stronger than you. Behind you. Oh, oh, that was really 
lucky. I'm in a kind of bad position here. Oh, okay. Behind you. Okay, a little bit of a double hit there. Oh no! Oh, I got up. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Take him down. Take him down. I think I think this is death. Yes. Okay. Damn, Senua. Damn. Let them surround you. There we go. Sweet. Okay, I was worried about that. I was getting worried there. Okay, so we have two symbols here. A sweet, sickly stench of burning human flesh. <laughs> Maybe I want to go up here. And I still hear their cries carried in the wind. There could be something in the mountain. Yes, I heard their screams, and I still hear them now. Oh. Maybe it's something with this? Or maybe it... Oh! There we go. There's one. So you don't actually have to have them right next to each other. Okay. Yep, there we go. Yep, hell yeah. Nice. Now the path to hell hand is Wait. sealed to the living. But you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gift and you will see that it has opened. So I feel like it's implied that Senua is alive right now. She just has the power to walk among the dead. Oh great, more bodies. When they first came to my land. I knew enough of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lives. you see lives. fire in the distance. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. Oh! Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god. Guys are aggressive. Finally! I'm surprised I didn't die there. Hell yeah. When you see a fire gate of Surt, know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspel and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Okay, find the fire. Oh, also, sorry, I just had a timer go off for my fries that are in the oven. We'll be right back. Follow the fire. Okay. The sacrifice. Oh, they said focus. Maybe I have to look at it from this way.
I don't know if I'm supposed to do something with this. Oh, there we go. There it is. Oh my god. And now everything's in flames? Oh shit. This is visually amazing. Oh my gosh, seeing all the bodies. And the gate opened? Oh damn. Maybe I have to reach the gate in time. Yeah, okay. I don't think I reached the gate in time last time. I not give you the answers you want. But you mustn't look away from the horrors it does offer. Because you cannot overcome suffering if you refuse to look at it. Um, now we're through the gate. Hell yeah. That was brutal, though. I can't think of a better word for it. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is oh, one of the nine. I'm walking too far. That is now the land of fire giants. The land of fire giants. Elsewhere, we cannot endure a journey there. Okay, so I guess we have to go through this gate next. Maybe we have to interact with another fire. Another another yep, another fire sacrifice. Voices know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they get me. They really do. It's too far. The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Sert, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword. Oh no. And at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we gotta run. Maybe we can jump down this way? No, I think... Oh no. Oh my god. That scream kinda scared me, that was loud. Okay, jump down here. Oh man, this is brutal. Hopefully we have a little bit more time for this one. I see the gate up here. Okay, we're almost there. Oh my god. There we go. Damn. Do your gods answer your prayers, Senua? I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! Yeah. My gods abandoned me! I am alone. Find your truth, Ruth. It's interesting, because I think his cutscenes... Like, I think it's actually like a video of a person. He looks very realistic, I've noticed. But he's also always like portrayed very like blurry. Cause he's like probably somewhere within Senua's mind. Oh, the maybe? Northmen of hell worship the devourers. 
and sit Maybe something with the house. Darkness. I come from Erin, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Okay, so we need both of these symbols. I'm trying to look in the um, roofs. I feel like that could make sense. Oh? It's somewhere around here. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> okay, thank you, game. I didn't see that. Um, okay. There are these kind of branches here. Oh, oh, wait. Almost? There it is. Yep. Okay. Now the gate is opened. This looks like a dead end. Oh, that's why. Okay. We're supposed to look at this. Oh, I don't know where we're supposed to go though. Once it catches on fire? Oh shit, we're like actually on fire for a second. Okay, I'm gonna run this way. Maybe, I don't even know where I'm going. Oh shit. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, up here maybe? Oh, this looks crazy. Oh, don't fall! Don't fall! Oh, send you a note. God, so scary. And jump down? I thought, yeah, this way, I think. Oh my god. Fighting in the flames is dope. Okay, so that's probably the next gate we're gonna have to run through. I like this section. Um. Okay, before we walk around here too much, we should inspect these. I think I already found the middle one. Or one of them. I saw something over here. Tell me true. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, 
I could see it clearly in others. There it Even is. My captors feared the fire of Surt. Isn't that? And so looks pretty similar to me. Read. I took my chance and ran. There it is. Knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> They left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. Oh. Not that one. Oh, because it's the wrong way. Okay. So we need to look at it from the other side. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok. Ragnarok. The destiny of the gods. Heard of that. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. There's that one. Now we just need the one on the end, the last one. That kind of looks like a P. I do like these matching up puzzles a bit, though. Have I gone this way yet? Oh, I haven't. Maybe it's up here. Oh. I feel like we're getting close. Maybe something with this? Oh! There it is. Right? Maybe not? Matches up to me. There we go. Okay. Nice. Now the gate is unlocked. Let's go back down. Senua, if I can survive the fire of Surt and escape my darkness, then so can you. So can you. Hell yeah, Druth. sometimes was that me losing or was that just supposed to happen oh i think that was just supposed to happen no yeah no i think that was me dying yeah <laughs> sometimes i can't even tell okay let's try again <laughs> Did I make 
make it? I think I made it. I thought I died again for a second. No. Did I die? I can't even tell if that was supposed to happen or not. Oh my gosh. I think that was supposed to happen? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Shanoa. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I wonder if this is a flashback. I have to face it alone. Away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I wonder if she's talking to Dillian. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Oh, there, oh, there he is. Oh my god, there's the boss. Here we go, guys. You destroyed everything, everyone, but not me. Fight me now. The music. Oh my god. I don't know if I can hear this. Focus. 
it's like hard to even see. Yeah, no, you don't want to hit him. for a second? Maybe he'll not be on fire anymore after a second? Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I got to stop trying. I kicked ass on that attempt. And I think we unlocked the gate with that. The other side. For every battle won, a greater battle takes its place. She is so badass. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Damn, truth. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. <laughs> and I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. And you will carry my stories with you. Truth is dying. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Damn. The then I will see you in hell. To face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers damn I might have liked that fight a little bit more it's hard to even call that was fucking awesome that was so cool GG's guys let's run back and see this gate time to cross the bridge over the river of knives why is she waiting? Don't open the gate. Open no, the gate. Don't. don't. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's down. We've done it. We've opened the gate. It's so dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross.
This is already very eerie. Truth? Anyone? There is no one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Mom. <sighs> Damien! Damien! Oh my gosh. In this waking nightmare. Where all dreams come true. She's not wearing her you war paint right now. A way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears. Uh, so I wonder if this is a flashback. Your furies and banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, that you're home, he's so far away. Damn, this game has it been a trip soul. so far. To these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. I'm like actually kind of scared to see this. By your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. Damn. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. This is really fucking sad. I'm actually like tearing up a little bit. No! No! Senua. I said that like so many times already this game. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. I think the that was some kind of flashback you. though. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze. Averted from life. Oh, damn. You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering, worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandoned him to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So just... you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. No, oh, the bridge. Else left. The sea of knives. There is so much emotion in her eyes. It is wild. It's like some kind of drum or something in the background. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Okay, we got enemies here. This already looks pretty intense, but beautiful. Yes. Okay, this is kind of awesome, having to the fight our way. A warrior for a reason. It's your calling. <laughs> There we go. 
let that dude just stand in there for a second, waiting politely. When there is a new road ahead, the only one that makes sense. <laughs> The music! Oh my gosh! So the music in this game is amazing! I see that shield, dude. I don't like those guys. I never like an enemy with a shield in a game. I always just kick my ass. Oh, okay, yeah. Speaking of kicking my ass. Oh, he- okay, he fell off the bridge. Okay. Wait. Nice. Run on through. Are there any more enemies? Okay. Looks like we got him. Oh, okay. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Oh my god, that kind of scared me. <laughs> oh! Oh, hello. Bro, ambush just. Oh, my gosh. Is this a boss? Or are you just. She's hurt. She won't make it. You seem like someone I should not try to parry, to be honest. like an Elden Ring boss or something. with a shield. My least favorite. Ooh, okay, I didn't think that was gonna go happen. I didn't think it was gonna go for the second one. Here's a stone here. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. Look at this. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell Brynhild. to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Damn. 
I wonder if we're gonna have to fight the giantess. Okay, got a few puzzles here. Oh, that's an X. I had a feeling it'd be something with this. There we go. So there's the first one. I don't know if it would be like out in the water. Oh, I can go down here. I didn't realize that. Something is nearby. the stairs? That's not what I was expecting to happen. That's super cool that I actually fixed that. I thought I could only alter the environment by going through those portals, but I guess that's changing. I guess I can alter stuff by focusing on it. On it. There's another stone to look at. Hella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Oh, we can unlock this now. Her walls. High are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold, all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Oh, there we go. Okay, now to find the last one. Like, I'm, su I'm kind of surprised that's not it, to be honest. There we go. That's gotta be it. Yep, there it is. Okay, so it that was what it was. I just wasn't looking at it from the right angle. Okay. There we go. And this looks like the other side of the bridge. Maybe we'll have a few more enemies. It's raining a lot heavier though. Look at how beautiful the water is. Just don't mind all the dead bodies on stakes. And you can really see the beauty. The gauge is opening. Oh my gosh. Boss time? Is it, is it Maybe? Tella. Yes. The source of the darkness. The source of the darkness. This is your moment. The hell? I'm sorry. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. Oh, damn. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. She's good. She's good. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That must have been the giantess they were talking about. But our sword broke. And we fell into the water. 
stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears. Oh, we're seen skipping a few frames. Eye. Hopefully it catches up. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. Damn. That's deep. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can we be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. She's mouthing the voice that we're hearing. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Oh, damn. And love. Just do like it. your soul. Do it. Come on. There. <laughs> Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. I think she washed up Her by the shore. Is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. A song. It's not real. Damn, she's got like a huge gash on her face. You can't give up. Dave. Dave. It's like this. It's not real. It's real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Baby, you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in yourself? I can't tell. Am I walking now? Yeah, okay, now I'm controlling her. Oh man, look at her arm, too. Dang, and we don't have our sword, so we can't fight right now either. Just, again, I feel so bad for her. So much has happened. Is this Dillian? It's Dillian. He's gone. You were so slow. How could you keep going? How could you keep going? Oh, they could Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. So we're getting Only the lore. Occasionally did she venture out on her own. And how she met Dillian. Collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Ogni Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren. And lonely. Oh. 
trying to see if I see the light anymore. If I see Dillian. Oh, yeah! Up there. He's like fighting. Maybe he was a warrior too. Oh, there's a face! Her mother. Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted. Like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. And it does not ask you to swim against it. Damn. It's hard to make out what her mother actually looks like behind the uh, statue. Oh, look at this view. Oh my gosh. So play under the shade of a tree. That is beautiful. She remembers the water and the mountain and the um sky. Just gorgeous. This game is such a spectacle. More badass music coming in. There's a gate over there as well. Oh, I almost missed this. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother in law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Damn. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well... That night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. What happened? I want to know! I'm so invested now. You'll never guess what happened. I've got to find the next lore stone now. i got to know what happened. Okay, so this is locked, but it doesn't seem like it's locked by a rune. It's locked by something else. loop around or this game does kind of seem to reward you for not taking the obvious path see here we go oh do I have to yeah here we go gotta get a little closer as the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face he bites the wolf's tongue the she-wolf pulls away but Sigmund holds on the chains break and he is free damn after his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs him. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted. 
and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Damn. That was not a letdown. I'm glad we found that one. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. Maybe that's how Senua learned to fight? Is that she watched Dilliard? Oh, look at him over there! Okay, before we go over there, we gotta get the next lore. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. Luck is not on their side. They're captured. Sigir has them buried alive. Well, that was a surprising end to that story. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Where is she going? What is she following? You can't even fight. It's just look at how pretty this is. And she's not injured anymore. She could do the same. Oh, the music is even getting Isn't more like cheerful. Wait, does she have with it. No, she she doesn't That's have the um dance. war paint on. So I wonder if this is another flashback and she's remembering a similar tree. I'm assuming maybe that's what the symbolism of the no war paint means. The flashback of like her her and Dilliard. Maybe. I want to see what he was actually like. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not at only home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I, I watched you. And you learnt all of that from watching you? Aww. You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment. When you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. Oh, damn. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. That's so and dark. darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things work. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Is that you? It's so surreal whenever she looks directly into the camera. I'll find you, my love. I promise. So obviously, Dillian is dead. You but we're trying to find his soul to save it from hell, I presume. I believe. Nothing lives here. He it's just so cool seeing all the flashbacks of them, though. What's he trying to tell you? 
anything about this. For you by the tree. That's just a stone. But there's another lore stone over here. Oh, I can't get over that rock. Okay, gotta go around. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out but only to tell him the truth. But she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Oh my gosh. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. So I guess that wasn't the end of the story. <laughs> wow, okay. I thought the story was already over. No, it was not. Oh, yeah, there's like another lore stone back here. And then I'm assuming we go to the tree. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. Here is the end. He was a fierce and More. great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram. 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 That's a cool name for a sword. Damn. So Odin killed him then. I wonder how much significance all this lore has to the actual story. And I'm assuming it's like accurate to Norse mythology. Although like I was saying, I don't know that much about Norse mythology, so I don't exactly know. But it's really interesting to hear it all. Take a sword. A sword. Take oh, oh, the sword. Okay, the sword they were talking about. Okay, that's the relevance. Oh man. So each of the shards will take us to a new path. Okay. Okay, since these shards seem like they're going to take me to different paths, I think that's a perfect place to end off my first episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, episode two will be out very, very soon. I'm probably going to record it tomorrow, my time. I'm going to be cooking up a storm editing these, so it'll be out before Hellblade 2 is out. Okay, although before I actually end this episode, little side note, 
I think I'm going to make sure it's auto-saving. So, I'm going to interact with this shard, just because I realized that this game auto-saves at very specific times. I don't want to lose all my progress for this little section we just did. So let's go to this. See, we just got an autosave. Okay, perfect. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through okay. iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. I'm very excited to do these trials to get this sword, guys. The angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the sword death of a man a God. every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Okay, there we go. Where are we now? We're still on the shore and we got another autosave. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna exit out of the game here and now. Again, guys, I'm very excited for episode two. Stay tuned and I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.